Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to jump into the 2015 teacher workshop series with number 31 on the CBEST elementary math practice test. This is a good uh, number sense word problem because it's going to introduce some elements with uh, number sense word problems and uh, expressions. And we're going to use this to sort of uh, get exposure to these problems so that when we get to the harder number sense word problems and the harder uh, algebra word problems, we have some background knowledge in this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with any type of word problem is I'm going to read it over. And as I read it over, I want you to visualize um, what's going on in the problem. Okay, so let, let's take a look at this. Let's read it over together. It says here, number 31, Antonio buys four notebooks for $3.50 each at a store. The next day, he returns to the store and exchanges the notebooks for three notebooks that have, that have gone on sale for $1.75 each. Antonio uses the following expression to calculate the amount of money he should receive back from the exchange. And then we have these expressions, and it says, which the following expressions could Antonio have used, have also used? And then we have some options. Now, now let's read it over again, and let's pull out some important information. First off, he buys four notebooks for $3.50. That's what this first part means. Four, that's the four notebooks, each for $3.50, and the product of 4 times $3.50, this gets the a total, total amount that Antonio originally paid, right? Then it says, the next day he returns to the store and exchanges three notebooks that have gone on sale for $1.75. So this portion of the problem, right here, this, this part right here, 3 times $1.75, this represents the three notebooks that he bought on sale, at for the price of $1.75 each. Now the difference between the product of this minus the product of this, the difference of this represents what? Well this is the original amount of money that he spent, right? This is the original amount less the uh, amount that he actually spent and this is going to get us the, um, the amount that he received back. So we're, if we're looking for the amount of money that he received back on the exchange, that would be the difference between the original amount minus what he actually paid. That would get us the uh, difference or, or the amount back. It's really important on these number sense and soon to be algebra word problem expressions that you understand each component. So what's in the blue box, what's in this box, what's in the orange box. You understand each one of the different components of these expressions and you can match it up with a piece of information in the word problem. Because once you can do that, then it's a lot easier to answer these expressions. These expressions or these number sense expressions or algebra expressions can be very abstract. But if you know that $3.50 represents the cost of one notebook, and you know that $3.50 minus $1.75 represents the difference um, the money back from one notebook, uh, you can start answering these questions. Now let's start answering it. A, A tells you the difference between um, the original price of one notebook times, uh, you, times the actual price, and this tells you the amount of money that he gets back for each one of those three notebooks. Now we're not looking for the difference between one, we're looking for the difference between three. So do you want to, we, if We'd, we'd, we're looking for something like this expression times 3. A is not the answer, but it has a component that gets us to the answer, which is B. Look, this right here is the difference for that he, this is the amount he gets back for each one of the three notebooks, so it's that difference, whatever this is, times 3, that would get me the, the, the amount of money he gets back for each of the three notebooks. And what's this part here? Well, that's that fourth notebook, which he doesn't get a part back. He gets 100% back because he's only, he, he's 
trading in four for three, so that fourth notebook, he gets 100% back. So the answer here is B, and it has all these different components that you have to understand so that you can, you can kind of make sense of it. And you have to talk yourself through the different parts, and you have to remind yourself of what you're looking for. The amount of another expression that could get you to the amount of money he gets back. Um, this is a tricky problem, so I want you, rather than me going through it and keep on saying the problem over and over again, I want you to read through it again and make sure you can match up all this information. You can match up all the different parts of these this expression with the word problem, and then you can match up all the parts with the answer B with uh, with how it makes sense and how it gets you to the correct answer, which would be the amount of money total he gets back from this exchange. Okay, team, the answer is B. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care.